Welcome to the EMP Media Channel. In this video, we introduce you to the top 10 best crime movies of 2021. If you want to know what the best crime movies are, watch this video to the end. In your opinion, which crime movies are among the top 10 movies of 2021? Please write your comments for us. In order not to miss our new videos, please subscribe us. Number 10. They didn't fight over land or crown. They fought over their own skins. House of Gucci, a drama and crime film. Directed by Ridley Scott. With and stars Lady Gaga. Adam Driver. Jared Leto. Jeremy Irons. Al Pacino. When Patrizia Reggiani, an outsider from humble beginnings, marries into the Gucci family, her unbridled ambition begins to unravel their legacy and triggers a reckless spiral of betrayal, decadence, revenge, and ultimately, murder. It's been over 26 years since the murder of Maurizio Gucci, who once ran his family's famous fashion business. The crime made headlines and rocked the fashion industry. House of Gucci not only revisits that moment, but ventures back two decades to build up the relationships, the conflict, and the events leading up to his death. Directed by Ridley Scott from a screenplay by Becky Johnston and Roberto Bentivegna, who draw from the book, The House of Gucci, a sensational story of murder, madness, glamour, and greed, by Sarah Gay Forden, House of Gucci boasts strong performances and is hammy enough to be occasionally enjoyable, but falls flat in the overall effectiveness of its story. Number 9 that be of interest to you? Good. I'll need you to come to Miami. Lansky is a crime and drama film. Directed by Aidan Rockaway. With and stars, Harvey Keitel. Sam Worthington. John Magaro. David James Elliott. The plot focuses on an FBI investigation of Meyer in his last years of life, looking for the money. A hapless, down-on-his-luck writer, David Stone, Sam Worthington, is contacted by Lansky and given the scoop of a lifetime, the chance to tell the mob boss's story in full and publish his true, untold, authorized biography. Stone travels to Miami to work with Lansky on the book, and the story is framed in conversations between them in a diner. Lansky tells his story in great detail, insisting that he must have final edit on what goes in the book. He clearly relishes reliving the moments. When the feds hear that Stone has open access to Lansky, they pressure him to become an informant, dragging him and his family into the still-threatening orbit of the old gangster. Number 8 They want you, Ronald. Much as I might have tried to dissuade them. Then are you going to tell me who they are? No Sudden Move is a crime and drama film. Directed by Steven Soderbergh. With and stars, Don Cheadle. Benicio Del Toro. David Harbour. John Hamm. Ray Liotta. Set in 1954 Detroit, No Sudden Move centers on a group of small-time criminals who are hired to steal what they think is a simple document. When their plan goes horribly wrong, their search for who hired them, and for what ultimate purpose, weaves them through all echelons of the race-torn, rapidly changing city. Soderbergh returns to the Detroit area, all these years after Out of Sight, with a tale that feels like Elmore Leonard Light. Small-time criminals get involved with what should be a simple heist, that gets twisted and complicated. The cast is stellar across the board, with an uncredited cameo that'll put a smile on your face. It's definitely mid-level Soderbergh, but the cast pushes this to above average. Number 7 <laughs> Don't waste your time, bro. He won't talk to you. He hates feds. He won't talk to any of us. No Man of God is a crime and drama film. Directed by Amber Seeley. 
with and stars Elijah Wood, Luke Kirby, Alexa Palladino, Robert Patrick, W. Earl Brown. The complicated relationship that formed between the FBI analyst Bill Hagmeyer and serial killer Ted Bundy during Bundy's final years on death row. No Man of God follows the experience of FBI Special Agent Bill Hagmeyer, who conducted interviews with Ted Bundy from 1984 until the serial killer's execution in 1989. Bundy disliked working with law enforcement, refusing to cooperate even when facing the death penalty. Hagmeyer's interviews were for the purpose of developing a psychiatric profile that could be used to identify other dangerous offenders, but the movie is clear that the agent also wanted Bundy to confess to his crimes for the sake of his victims' families. Wood plays Hagmeyer as a gentle, unassuming Christian, whose earnest approach and genuine intellect win Bundy over. The two form a sort of camaraderie over the years, with Bundy eventually telling Hagmeyer that he's his best friend. Number 6 I want a full bag tomorrow. Who the fuck are you? The guy who one time put out somebody's eye for talking to him like that. The Many Saints of Newark is a crime and drama film. Directed by Alan Taylor. With and stars, Alessandro Nivola, Michaela de Rossi, Michael Gandolfini, Leslie Odom Jr. Young Anthony Soprano is growing up in one of the most tumultuous eras in Newark, New Jersey, history, becoming a man just as rival gangsters start to rise up and challenge the all-powerful DeMeo crime family. Caught up in the changing times is the uncle he idolizes, Dickie Moltisandi, whose influence over his nephew will help shape the impressionable teenager into the all-powerful mob boss, Tony Soprano. Set several decades before the events of The Sopranos, the new movie follows both the induction of a young Tony Soprano, played by original actor James Gandolfini's son, Michael, into the world of organized crime, and the story of Dickie Moltisanti, a character regularly referenced throughout the original show but never seen. The action takes place against the backdrop of the 1967 Newark riots and explores the societal and political tensions that were prominent during that era. In addition to Tony and Dickie, the narrative also provides crucial backstory for several major Sopranos characters. Number 5 Nightmare Alley is a crime and drama film. Directed by Guillermo del Toro. With and stars, Bradley Cooper. Kate Blanchett. Rooney Mara. Willem Dafoe. An ambitious carnival man with a talent for manipulating people with a few well-chosen words hooks up with a female psychiatrist who is even more dangerous than he is. The film isn't overtly violent for the first half, but as the cinematic conclusion comes closer, you'll be shocked by some of the quick bouts of horrors that shade the final moments. If you are paying attention, you may even get a sense of where the story is heading. Even if there may be a slight bit of predictability here, it's well worth the ride once you get there. Number 4 The Little Things is a crime and thriller film. Directed by John Lee Hancock. With and stars, Denzel Washington. Rami Malek. Jared Leto. Chris Bauer. The Little Things opens by treating the audience to striking Ella cinematography, with the deft interplay of light and shadow to highlight the murkier aspects that lurk amid the fringes of society. A serial killer stalks the streets at night, preying on vulnerable young women, marking his kills with bite marks and multiple stab wounds. The ominous aura of the infamous Night Stalker seems to cling to the air, while the audience is introduced to veteran cop Joe Deacon, Washington, who now lives out a quiet, haunted existence as a patrol deputy in Bakersfield. 
Deacon's inner demons seem to haunt him at every step, while past trauma and unresolved crime cases weigh upon his conscience, manifesting in deeply disturbing ways. During a routine evidence pickup, Deacon is covertly shunned by his former colleagues, Captain Ferris, Terry Kinney, and Detective Rizzoli, Chris Bauer, while he crosses paths with his replacement, Jim Baxter, Malek, who is hailed as eccentric, yet brilliant by those around him. Number 3 the house has a 1.5% advantage. If a player knows the nature of the cards in the shoe, he can turn the house advantage to himself. The Card Counter, a crime and drama film. Directed by Paul Schrader. With and stars Oscar Isaac. Tiffany Haddish. Ty Sheridan. Alexander Babra. William Tell, Oscar Isaac, is a gambler and former serviceman who sets out to reform a young man seeking revenge on a mutual enemy from their past. Tell just wants to play cards. His Spartan existence on the casino trail is shattered when he is approached by Cirque Ty Sheridan, a vulnerable and angry young man seeking help to execute his plan for revenge on a military colonel. Tell sees a chance at redemption through his relationship with Cirque. Gaining backing from mysterious gambling financier Lalinda, Tiffany Haddish, Tell takes Cirque with him on the road, going from casino to casino until the unlikely trio set their sights on winning the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas. But keeping Cirque on the straight and narrow proves impossible, dragging Tell back into the darkness of his past. Number 2 we're gonna just let this go? 20 years of dad's life and this bitch gets out early? For good behavior? What is that? The Unforgivable A Crime and Drama Film Directed by Nora Finkscheidt With and stars, Sandra Bullock Ashling Franchosi Will Pullen Viola Davis Vincent D'Onofrio the Unforgivable opens with golden-hued flashback shots of an incident that led to a 20-year imprisonment for Ruth. Now out of prison, she's struggling to reintegrate herself into mainstream society. Her no-nonsense parole officer, Vincent Cross, Rob Morgan, lays out the rules she needs to follow in order to avoid jail time again, which include not reaching out to the victim's family or associating with another ex-convict. Ruth, hardened and seemingly remorseless, agrees to these terms and goes on to spend her days struggling to maintain two jobs in order to make ends meet. While the first half of the film grants the audience no reason to empathize with Ruth, as she unjustifiably killed a sheriff 20 years ago, the repeated flashbacks of the incident clearly point towards there being more to the story than meets the eye. Number one. Just, I'm fucking afraid. This isn't gonna go our way. I, I had the feds at my house this morning. You understand? The Guilty is a drama and crime film. Directed by Antoine Fuqua. With and stars Jake Gyllenhaal. Christina Vidal. A demoted police officer assigned to a call dispatch desk is conflicted when he receives an emergency phone call from a kidnapped woman. The Guilty, director Antoine Fuqua's latest feature, is one of the many American remakes of international hits that don't quite get what made the original, a Danish film from director Gustav Mahler, so special. Many of these remakes are often of films that have rather precise narratives, with specific events or twists that the audience didn't see coming the first time, which then gets retold for American audiences. The Guilty is no different. If one were to have never seen the original, then it is a fairly good suspense-filled drama that showcases much of what we like from Fuqua, screenwriter Nick Pizzolatto, and actor Jake Gyllenhaal. Without offering anything particularly interesting or nuanced, the guilty still has enough to keep audiences engaged and on the edge of their seats. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel and like the video.